Norway has to be the best. And if you follow our journey already, you'll know that we've been to Norway before, and in fact, all of Scandinavia. But it's just a country that really blows our mind. The massive fjords, the mountain ranges, and the vast wilderness means that Norway is definitely a destination you must visit. The Finger Lakes are home to over 100 wineries, breweries, and distilleries. And for those who are members of Harvest Host, there are an unlimited amount of options for overnight camping. You can camp at a winery beside the lake or a brewery or distillery. Also, this area is known for Watkins Glen, which is known for its hiking trail. And in addition, you can visit Taganic Falls, which is arguably one of the best waterfalls in the Northeast. However, we definitely recommend seeing it during spring. <laughs> what? what is that? Now we headed to the Utah, the southern part of Utah for the canyons. We started with Zion, mm -hmm. and then um, which was great, but then we ended up in Bryce, which I think we both really, really enjoyed. Southern Utah in a completely different way is so beautiful as we talked about the Oregon coast, so yeah. different. But I mean, it's just, it's one of the most beautiful. If it, it, they're one, in my opinion, in terms of beautiful places, Oregon coast, Southern Utah, one and two. Yeah. And I don't so know and, and Kirk did an amazing hike at Bryce Canyon. If you guys have been watching our videos, you know I have a bum knee. So I can't do some of those crazy hikes. I can do little ones. But Kurt kind of stopped to talk to some of the park rangers. He found a place that we could drive to. It was quite a drive down a bumpy road. But he's, they said, you know, you get there and you'll be at the hike site. So you can get out and you can climb on some of these cool features and everything. And it was called Devil's Playground. And it was perfect. We were able to drive right up to it. And I was able to do some pretty cool hiking without wearing out my knee. So thank you for that, Kurt to go to Switzerland, but we can guarantee you'll have a, a fantastic time. It kind of looks green screen, like everything is just a pop of color. They've got like emerald green lakes and snow-capped mountains, vast valleys that you can drive through. It did not disappoint. Watch out for those cows though, they're pretty aggressive. <laughs> Another highlight was the Galma Band funicular. We went up this thing, it's kind of like a roller coaster that goes up really slow. It's one of the best views I've ever experienced. I loved that day. It was wicked, wasn't it? Fab. And remember, ladies, if you are going to the first in Switzerland and you wish to wear a wig, make sure you strap it on tight. <laughs> so if you want to get your pants blown off, then make sure you go to Switzerland. <laughs> but make sure you take enough gas. Are you sure they do that camping gas? Otherwise, we'll have to cook with this. Oh! Make sure you get Switzerland on your bucket list, lads.